Everybody ready? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and update you on the ongoing investigation, then I'll turn it over to Sheriff Gualteri so he can tell you about his uh, detectives. So again, last night we investigated the uh, shooting uh, that happened in Pinellas Park. Update you on the information that we have now, and I know someone was sent out to you. So the victims is a Corporal Matthew Akins, and the sergeant that fired the shot was Sergeant Vivito, Vivolo. I hope I said that correctly. The suspect is a uh, Zion Bostic, white male, born 3-2 of 2000. A little bit about his history. He has an extensive history. Last week, he was supposed to go to court on 3-7 of 23. He did not go to court. The judge issued three warrants for his arrest. He was looking at a possible five years in prison. He told his mom that he would not go back to prison. Again, last night during the uh, shooting, what we can tell you is now that as the as the officer cleared with his canine uh, around the corner, Officer a of Corporal Atkins, we could see the suspect fire at least three rounds, one hitting the corporal in the neck, one in the hand, and one in the leg. Again, the officer had the, the deputy had surgery this morning at 1030, and the sheriff will brief you more on that. The one handgun was used that shot the deputy was a nine millimeter. We also found in his front right pocket a 380. That gun was stolen out of an unlocked vehicle in 2018. We also found more ammunition in a backpack that the deceased was car carrying. We know six rounds were fired, three at the canine handler and three at the sergeant on the scene. Again, the dog, uh, Taco, was not injured during that process. Again, this is an ongoing investigation. We will brief you more uh, as it goes on. With that, I'll turn it over to the sheriff to talk about his deputies. Uh, thank you, Chief. Um, I just want to uh, thank Chief Holloway uh, and the members of the St. Petersburg Police Department for conducting this investigation. As you know, under the task force agreement, uh, we don't conduct the criminal investigations done by uh, St. Pete uh, because uh, the incident happened south of Almerton Road. Um, and so I'm not going to get into any of the real details uh, because that's for Chief Holloway to address as far as their investigation is concerned. But I'll tell you this much as far as uh, what happened out there last night with Corporal Matt Aiken and Sergeant Jake Viano is that we were very fortunate that uh, Sergeant Viano, who was working to an area just to the north, is a former canine handler. And he came uh, because Corporal Aiken was getting out the track. And sometimes we have the ability to do this and sometimes we don't, where we have a second deputy uh, that will also run with the handler. And I'm very thankful that Sergeant Viano uh, was able to do that because the outcome, in my mind, unquestionably would have been different if Sergeant Viano hadn't been there. Because as Chief Holloway said, uh, the bad guy uh, really ambushed uh, Corporal Aiken. And when he went down, uh, Sergeant Viano was able to uh, fire and uh, kill the bad guy. Um, and I'm going to talk about Corporal Aiken here for a second, but one of the things I want to uh, stress about what the situation is and just, you know, it, you know, people ask when does it end? Well, it doesn't. Uh, we continue to face these challenges. We're going to continue to face these challenges. And Chief Holloway, you know, mentioned this. But, you know, think about this. Here's this bad guy. And he's 22 years old. So, I'll say it again. He's 22 years old. So at 22 years old, he's been arrested 18 times on 34 different felony charges, 22 different misdemeanor charges. He first went, and you've got to try to do this. You've got to beg your way to do this. He first went to the Florida Department of Corrections, to the state prison system at 17 years old because he was charged by the state attorney as an adult and sentenced as a youthful offender to the state prison system at 17. He gets out. What's he do? Commits more crime, including grand thefts, drug crimes, committing crimes with firearms. He goes back to prison again. So a second time in state prison. When does he get released? A year ago yesterday. So on the anniversary of his release, 
get released March 12th of 22. So a year ago, he gets released from prison and he's out there engaged in this activity. And at some point in time, and because it's an active investigation and the chief isn't gonna release the video, which I support his decision because it's an active investigation. But I've seen the video and we will uh, release it at some point. And people need to see what bad guys like this do to good cops who are just doing their job, trying to get a guy who's committing more crime, who at 22 years old has been charged with 34 felonies, 22 misdemeanors, and been arrested 18 times, and is a 17-year-old been in the state prison system. And he's got two guns on him and tried to execute a deputy sheriff. And the deputy sheriff that he tried to execute is Corporal Matt Aiken. Matt has uh, been with us since 2006. Uh, he's been in K-9 for a long time. He's been in K-9 going on 12 years. Uh, he's been a corporal since 2018. He was a trainer for us for a long time. Matt is, thankfully, uh, one of our more experienced deputies, one of our more experienced K-9 handlers. Uh, and because of his experience and his grit, uh, Matt survived this. But uh, he's in the hospital. Um, had surgery this morning, and right now uh, appears to be okay, uh, that he's gonna pull through this. Uh, but he's still got a lot of medical issues, a lot of things to deal with, and he's just dealing with that. And his wife, he's got a young daughter, uh, his mom and dad are at the hospital with him. And we'll leave here, <coughs> I'm gonna go over to the hospital and see him. Um, but it's because of Matt, who he is, who uh, Sergeant Jake Biano, and who he is and what he did, uh, that the outcome here wasn't different. Uh, and it was on the cusp of being different. We'd be talking about a dead deputy if things had changed just slightly. And if Viano hadn't run with him, he, he wouldn't be here today uh, because Viano was able to uh, kill this guy uh, before he fired additional rounds into Matt when he was laying on the ground. So uh, we're very thankful. Uh, and again, my thanks to uh, Chief Holloway and St. Pete Police Department for conducting a a very thorough investigation, uh, and uh, we'll continue to keep you updated as far as Matt's condition is concerned. Uh, we just ask people to keep him uh, in their thoughts and in their prayers. And uh, you know, we all got to really ask ourselves, you know, what is going on in this world? What do you got a 22 year old you know, who's been in state prison twice, been arrested a number of times? This guy has. And, and I can tell you exactly what happened, is, is as the chief said. Is, is that he was due to be in court last Tuesday. And from what I know from uh, talking to the state attorney, um, he was going to be, there had been some type of a arrangement worked out. Uh, this is piecing some of this information together, but uh, it had been worked out between his lawyer uh, and the state and the court, and he was gonna plead because he's looking at a five-year minimum mandatory for being what's called a PRR, it's a recidivist. And so he was going back, and he simply just didn't want to go back to prison, and that's what he told his mother. So in lieu of uh, not committing more crime and being accountable for his crime and doing his five-year minimum mandatory uh, for being a PRR, he decided he was going to try and kill a deputy sheriff, two deputy sheriffs, actually, because three of those rounds were fired at Viano and three at, at Aiken. So um, type of people out there that we deal with. So... Um, Anyway, as far as Matt's concerned, again, just ask everybody to keep him in your thoughts and prayers. We'll keep you updated on his condition. And uh, at the right time, uh, when the investigation is concluded and we can, um, we'll show you the body cam video. And it's pretty startling. Um, unless you have any more questions for me, I'll turn it back over to Chief Holloway. I have a question. How is the sergeant doing, Mr. Holloway? Um, so I talked to Sergeant Viano this morning. Uh, He's doing okay. Uh, I think he's you know very thankful for what he was able to do, and you know really he saved Corporal Aiken's life. Uh, and Sergeant Viano uh, did a stellar job uh, of being able to uh, assess that threat. Uh, he fell down, he got up, uh, and was able to fire and uh, shoot the guy and kill him. Uh, and really saved not only his own life, but he saved Matt's life. Any other questions? And just like the sheriff said, I just want to re reiterate that to you, that these two deputies were ambushed. This, the deceased was waiting for them. He, had a, he picked a place and a time where he was going to try to kill these two deputies. Thank you. Thank you.